Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Friday, May 6th. Two game slate. We're going to start with draft teams. We're going to start with point guard. Luke is a borderline must play. He's taking all the shots. He's doing everything for Dallas. He's a one man gang, so really not much to talk about. Um, make room for Giannis. I mean, make room for Luca and, you know, be very smart with the players you put around him. And I'll I'll get I'll I'll get back to that in a second. Harden is nine K. He's still overpriced. Um, I don't know. If DK is not watching these games, but they're pricing him like they're not watching the games. Um, Harden is like a seventy five hundred dollar player. He's not really worth nine K. Um, thirty nine. Just put up in 39 that's I don't know I don't have to tell you I I won't be playing him um I, I didn't play him the last slate I didn't play him the slate before maybe if he was 7k I'd play him 7500 max but he's not a 9k player because you know my rule you want six times value 9k times six is what you know what I'm saying so he's not gonna give you that probability of him giving you 54 fantasy points Highly unlikely. So, you know, that's how I made my final decisions. I'd rather play Booker, who's who's disrespected again. Um, prices should be actually flipped. Actually, Harden should be Maxi's price. Luke is in play. I'm fading Harden. Booker's in play. Chris Paul's in play. He's a little under, under underwhelming to his, his salary. is a little underpriced. Maxi's too cheap. If... Philly has any chance of being close in this game with Miami, then Max is going to do what he did last game and go off. And he's still under price. Miami is absolutely. Listen, Philly's overmatched. I won't be surprised if this game is a blowout. So just be careful with uh, not playing too many Sixers. And be careful playing Harden because. If you pay 9k and you don't get value, you lose. It doesn't matter what everybody else did. Heroes in play, he's a little bit pricey, but at least you know you could rely on him. Jalen Brunson's been missing since the beginning of the series, so if anybody out there finds him, send me a message. I'm not playing Brunson. If Larry comes back, I probably won't even play him. Too many wings, too many ball handlers, too many, too many athletic guards and small forwards that do the same thing and like if you want to be honest Vincent Vincent actually let's do this quick history lesson Vincent Struss Martin, Tucker, they all, they all, um, they, 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 um, they cancel each other out. So you gotta be very careful with that. I'll play Hero. I'll play Lowry if he starts and he's healthy. I'll play Oladipo because his usage is, is higher than the rest of the gang. That's why I didn't put him in that bunch. Caleb Martin is literally Butler's um, backup, and Butler plays a lot of minutes. You should only be playing Caleb Martin if you assume there's going to be a blowout. And Deadman is um, Adebayo's backup, backup, and your seven only plays in the in the in the garbage minutes or if it's a blowout. So. Hero, Lowry, Oladipo, Butler, Bam, and maybe Tucker if, you know, you need a $4,500 power forward, but, you know, just don't play too many Miami Heat. It's a two-game slate, so what I'm trying to explain to you shouldn't really be too difficult to understand. Then with these trash also. 
we're, at some point we're gonna need to play these players. We're gonna need to play some of these um some of these value pieces. Try to pick the best. Try to pick the best. Um. The best piece of trash you can find, cause after hero it falls off a cliff. Brunson, Lowry, Dinwiddie, all these guys, it falls off a cliff. I'm, I, I'm, I'm taking all the depot for value at guard. Bullock is in play because of the minutes that he plays. That's it. No shake, no in. I know they want to incorporate pork as, as some type of athletic guard. Um, it's not working. 18 minutes, 16 fantasy points. That's not going to win any of us anything. Bridges, I got, I'm locking Bridges in. Finney Smith is a, Finney Smith is probably not going to make any of my lineups. Why would I pay for Finney Smith when I could get Bridges for $400 more? Crowder's in play. Um, Cam Johnson is not in play for me. I mean, if if I have forty six hundred dollars left at small forward, I'll put him in. But he's useless. Danny Green is useless. But we're gonna have to play somebody. I actually won a lineup with Kayla Martin, the last slate, and I got lucky. I wouldn't do that two slates in a row. Um. Actually, let's see what the lineup was that I used that I that I put him in. Give me one second. Since we got a little bit of time, we're not really doing anything, are we? Butler, Harris, Crowder, Paul Reed. Paul Reed's another one. The thing with Paul Reed is that he's gonna play maybe 20 minutes. What does he play? 25 minutes, but he's he's useless himself. He's getting a lot of fouls. Got five fouls the first game. 16 fantasy points for 25 minutes for five thousand dollars, forty nine hundred dollars. That doesn't add up. So he's just taking up a spot. So unless they're trying to. Unless they're planning on starting Paul Reed, I don't think I have much interest in him either. So the lineup. Oh my bad, it wasn't that lineup that 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 one. My bad. It, I played um. Gorgian Yang. I had Maxi, Oladipo, Bridges, Harris. Paul Reed, Booker, Niang, and Adebayo. So I took a chance on Niang and Reed. They did absolutely nothing. But everybody else was kind of okay. So I end up, uh, we end up cashing on that lineup. But yeah, I'm not playing Caleb Martin again. I thought he was in my winning lineup, but he wasn't. That, that even goes to show you how useless he is. He's not even good enough at value. So... Um, I'd stay away. Listen, he might have a, he might come off the bench and hit three threes and grab two steals. We don't know, but the probability of him being in a winning lineup is very low, and that's what we're looking at here. Some of you, I'm not gonna say some of you, because you guys are pretty smart, but there's people in the DFS community that they watch videos or they go on Twitter for someone to tell them who to play to give them the winning lineup. You can't get the winning lineup before the game starts. That doesn't. Nobody has that. But what I could provide for you is I could tell you who should be who should be giving you the, who's going to give you the highest probability to hit value or come close to value. And if you could put put them together in the lineup enough for them together in the lineup, that's how you get winning lineups. So that's what I'm trying to explain. Um, Butler, Harris, Smith, and play. Crowder's in play, Paul Reed, 
I'm very skeptical about. I don't trust them. Tucker's in play. Maxi Kleber's in play. Gorgi Nang, I don't trust him either. Miami's defense is too tough. Maybe he plays better in Philly, but it's $3,700 down the drain because he hasn't hit value once. Thibault doesn't even want to be there. Duncan Robinson. God. This slate is disgusting. Bam's in play, obviously. Aiton, I don't know what he was doing last game. I don't know what was on his mind. I don't know if somebody didn't tell him it was a playoff game he was in. This man had more fouls than rebounds. He's seven foot two, three hundred pounds. There's nobody in Dallas that could guard you, and you're out there TikToking instead of playing back instead of playing basketball. How? Jesus Christ. You know, now everybody, nobody's gonna want to play him. He should be a very good play because his ownership should be low. But if he doesn't show up this game, then you already know what time it is. Um, DeAndre Jordan, he's starting. I don't know why. 13 minutes. 13 fantasy points. What's that going to do? Why don't you just start Paul Reed and bring Gorgie Nang as the, as the backup center and open up the floor so Harden doesn't run into a shadow. Listen, Doc Rivers, I don't know if Doc Rivers is sick. I don't know if he fell, hit his head, and he's confused. I don't I don't know what's going on with him, but we can all clearly see that that lineup doesn't work. Those lineups he put out there don't work. I'm not sure what's happening right now. I'm, 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 I'll be honest with you, I might just even, I might not even play no anyone from Philly and Miami now more than I think about it, because it's ridiculous. Philly has a lot of people that do nothing. Miami have a lot of people that do the same thing. If they're not named Butler or Adebayo, you're very, you're very viable to not hit, hit your, 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 um, they're very viable to hit, not hit their fantasy quota. And that's going to be a problem because you're going to lose money. So, this latest tricky, like it was last time. But, like I tell you guys, however you think the game is going to go, play your players to reflect that. Let's get five guys and let's go to FanDuel. Um, Luke in a must win game. I don't really see how you get away from that. The only reason it's hard to play Luka is because there's no value. Booker is a must play. You can't fade, you can't fade Booker. Bridges, for his price, he's a must play to me. Now I got to get cheap at power forward. Crowder, I'm going to play more minutes than Paul Reed. I got to pray that, um, I want to, I got to pray that Tobias Harris doesn't go off. And then I go back to eight and like a dumbass. That's five people. That's five people that I like. Probably not going to play them all together. Because what I'm going to do with $3,800 for three spots. But I love Luca. I love Booker. I love Bridges. I like Crowder. And the probability... The probability that Aiton shits the bed again two nights in a row is, is unlikely. So, I'm going to go back to Aiton. Just the value pieces that you pick, you know, try to try to be confident that they're going to play minutes and they should give you a little bit of a chance to hit value or close to value. They're probably not going to hit value. It's a two-game slate. That's okay. But play people that you feel confident that they're going to give you a chance. That's all I can tell you. If you listen to anybody else for these playoffs and they tell you that they can give you the winning lineup or or whatever it is that they're saying. Because I, you know, I try to stay off of Twitter, but I'll be seeing these fools. That's not how it works. I'm going to put you. I'm going to. I'm going to put you in the best position. 
to be to have the highest probability players to hit value. And that's what I do for myself, and that's what I'm doing for you because this shit is this shit sucks. This slate sucks. The heat, the heat, the heat. Jesus Christ. I don't got no word. I don't have no words for this slate. But just think of everything that I've told you and try to make it work. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Listen, I'm sorry this slate is shit, but it's what we got. I'm trying to make sense out of it. But the more I look at it, the more disgusted I am. Listen, um, if you're uh, if you're having trouble, if you're having trouble building winning lineups, winning playoff lineups, and you need some type of assistance, you check out my Patreon. Link is linked in the description. Basically, I do you know I go through all the I go through all the hoopla, I go through all the injury reports. I watch all the, the game film from the previous couple games. I um, wait for starting lineups. I build up-to-date optimal lineups, and I send them out to you right before lock. All you got to do is reserve the contest that you would like to play. I prefer single entry, but, you know, there's people out there that love big tournaments. I like, I like nice, calm, tight, um, small contests, single entries. And um, just reserve it, and then I'll send out the lineups right before lock. And that goes for all of my tiers, include NBA playoffs, MLB main slate, MMA, and NASCAR. So if that's something interesting in, interested in. Uh, Patreon's linked in the description. We're gonna jump to FanDuel. We're gonna, gonna um, wrap this up because this slate is kind of pissing me off. We got a Luca at 11.5. Chris Paul looks overpriced, but he's not. Tyrese Maxey looks amazing. Actually, hold on a second. Forget this, Aiden. I'm playing Maxey. Philly, Maxey's a must play if Philly's gonna um, have a chance at winning. So I love these three guards, Luca, Booker, Maxi, and I love Bridges. Uh, I got that out there because because uh, I'm definitely playing like a lot of Maxi. So Luca, Paul, Maxi, all in play. Brunson, Buns, Lowry. If he's healthy, his hamstring is hurt. I might not even play him either. Dinwiddie's trash, but he's 4,500. Gabe Vincent's not going to do nothing in a playoff game. Um, campaign is not doing anything. He, he, he's Chris Paul di direct backup, his own, and he, and that's the only minutes he's getting right now. So he's not playing enough minutes to get enough fantasy points. So you gotta you gotta look at the players that can't be value for you, and you gotta plug your stars around that. You can't plug in Luca and then think you're gonna plug in Campaign and win a contest, because the probability of that happening. You're probably gonna see camels flying before that happens. Don't don't get sucked into the trap of plugging in stars and then throwing in any type of value because you'll lose your night will be over real quick. These 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 ro these these rotations are tight. They're tight, very tight. They're not playing all these bench players all types of minutes. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful. Shooting guard. I love Booker. Harden's a little bit reasonable at 8,700. Still prefer Maxi over him. Heroes in play. Mikhail Bridges looks amazing. Reggie Bullock looks good. All of Depot looks great. Danny Green is a bum. Cork Mods is a bum. Caleb Martin is good, but he's not getting enough minutes. Let's go to small forward. Tobias Harris. He's a little bit pricey for what I'm going to try to do. Maxi's not. I mean, Harris is not going to fit in 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 my lineups because I got to get the correct mid range to try to pay up for the people that I want to pay up for. So I don't see myself paying um paying up for Harris. Um, it, I, I'm just not going to be able to. I don't think, but we'll see. But he is a decent play. Crowder's in play. P. 
P.J. Tucker's in play for me. Bam, Maxi Kleber, Paul Reed. Listen, if you're playing a lot of lineups, you can sprinkle in Nang, Powell, and Cam Johnson. Not even not even Powell. Nang and Johnson, you can sprinkle in. I won't even touch Powell. That's just me. You guys do what you want to do. A.N., you know, I'm going to have a few lineups with him again. McGee, if you want to get cute. Um, and your lineup, you know, if you have fire in your lineup and you have $3,800 left and no one at center, you could plug in McGee. He'll get a few minutes. If you want to plug in DeAndre Jordan, it's your funeral, but I want to recommend it. Let's get five guys and let's get out of here. The more, I'm, the more I stay on this slate, the sicker I get to my stomach. So, we're playing Luka. We're playing Booker. Small forward. We're playing Hero. We're playing... Why would I pay 8k for Tobias when I could pay 85 for Bam? And then I'll just play Paul Reed. So that's five guys that I like. I'm not too I'm not too enthusiastic about Paul Reed, but he's serviceable. I know he's gonna come I know he's gonna come in for DeAndre Jordan. I at least know that. Um, so you got Luca, Booker, Hero, Bam, which I love all four. Paul Reed, I'm kind of stuck with him. Hopefully he had a good game. Um, Dwayne Dedman is Bam's backup if you want to get really, really cute. If I have a lineup full of fire, I play Deadman or McGee. Because guess what? They give you 10 fantasy points, you're still not dead. If Aiden gives you 10 fantasy points, if Cleaver gives you 10 fantasy points, you're probably dead. If McGee or Deadman give you um, 10 fantasy points, you're still alive. So, very tricky slate. A shit slate. And good luck to you. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you. But uh, I guess that's it. So, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you guys are having a profitable night, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.